Oh, right, all right, all right. What the hell is going on, everybody? Welcome back. We've got ourselves a several first person view cast straight off his stream. He's been streaming a lot. He's like, hmm, I'm the best player in the world. I don't have that many yeah, tournaments to play right now. I am going to stream a whole bunch and have a lot of fun doing it. Now, this is a match. I think this was actually the last F uh, first person view point of view stream uh, that, that, that I cast some games from was a banger. And, and this is another one from that same day, I believe. I think it was the last game he streamed that day. And his opponent is Max Pax. So it's Serral versus Max Pax, best, best Protoss in the world. For those who don't know, Max Pax is a player we've never met. We've never seen him in real life. We've talked to him a few times on stream. We've had interviews, but he hasn't come to any live tournaments. Um, main theory is that he's probably just a bit anxious uh, socially or whatever, or something like that. Yeah, not that keen to come down to the main events. But we see him do so well online. Um... He lost like every time he played Maru for the first few years of his career. And then he beat him like five or is it five or six times in a row? Um, and uh, yeah, it's the fact, obviously it's not like he's as dominant as Serral or anything like that, but he has taken down pretty much all of the top guys, at least a couple moments here or there. His PVT is exceptional. His PVP is God tier. This is uh, definitely his weakest matchup, I would say, P PVZ. And I do think, though, at any moment, Max Pax will be evolving into that next level. So he's a great dancing partner for Serral. And I feel like in the tournaments, he doesn't do as well. But in the ladder, man, he has some moments where he absolutely slays. I've seen him, like, beat Serral twice, three times in a row on stream. I've seen him beat Rainer two or three times, times in a row on stream as well. So he's a very formidable opponent. Now, keep in mind, I've got Serral very quiet there because he does change volumes quite a bit. And his mic is usually very soft compared to in-game sound. So if I turn his mic up, I'm just doing this off his stream video. It's going to make the, the battle sounds deafeningly loud. But uh, I'll try to translate where I can and hopefully you guys catch it. And I'll adjust the volume if we need to here and there. Now, he's already scouted the Stargate at the front of the wall. Off, very defensive opening. No adepts coming forwards. He's gone for a gasless three hatchery build. Only taking a gas now at three minutes. So this is a super economic build. And that's because this map, it's got a massive push path. It takes a long time to get across. So it tends towards very greedy play. Now, the only addendum I would add to that is that because people play so greedy because it's so hard to attack, all ins that you can surprise your opponent with do become strong again. So we see a mixture of very greedy and very aggressive play that is specifically designed to punish the greed. And he already sees a third gas. That is weird. Is this Sky Toss? Fast for her. Very unnecessary, but whatever. He says, we're going to get a fast spore here. Pretty unnecessary, but whatever. So basically he's saying, look, I'm I'm taking a safety precaution because this natural mineral line is just so exposed. It's so open to the oracles. He's like, yeah, let's just play it a little safer. Someone says, I always thought ZVZ was his weakest. Serral's? Yes. Yeah, I was talking about Max Pax. Uh, Max Pax PVZ is his weakest. Uh, is, 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 it's Max Pax's weakest matchup. So, Serral, Serral definitely, ZVZ has been the one which he's least consistent in. He's still incredibly consistent in it. Um, but it's kind of funny. Oh, man, Serral just misboxed that creep streamer like three times in a row. That's my favorite move. I do that all the time. I like when Serral does human things, guys. Makes me feel like I could achieve great things if I just set my mind to it, you know? I mean, I'm not going to. But that's kind of what we do when we idolize these people who are much better than us at things. We go, well, maybe if I just put in the effort, I reckon I could do that. And then I go back to eating my Cheetos, you know? Smashing some Doritos. Friggin' uh, watching from the sidelines and backseating. That's that's my specialty. Oh, two drones go down. But the Oracle took a lot of damage. He's got a Spore and two Queens in the main. Different control group for these as well. Oh, great focus fire. Gets one of the Oracles. That one's going to take a lot of damage as well. Oh, this is so good for him. But is it? The Adepts are going to try and punish him. Good Ling Micro gets a semi surround. You know what they say, guys. If you pop a semi, you can let the Protoss go to D-Town. That is something which is a very common real saying. I didn't make that up, I promise. Uh, both one Oracle dead, one deep in the red or orange. And he shuts down the Adepts with only a few drone losses. I think he's doing great. He's got a fourth already down. The one thing is the moment that layer finishes, I want to see an Overseer getting into that base and checking what's happening. Because... He is just a little blind. I also want to see a Ling on the far left side as well. I think I can turn his volume up a little bit, guys. I'm going to crank him up a little. Hopefully we don't. Yeah, it's it's actually really quiet. He's saying, oh, is this just four gas or what is this? Because he's basically saying, how is there a fourth base already 
up so quickly. Because he's assuming Max Max has the back base already. So he's like, dude, how does he have this much stuff? And he's realizing, yeah, I and mean, there can't be gas on the third base. Normally Protoss takes the gas on the third. He sees no gas now. Really high drone count here. He's like, I'm going to go to a really high drone count, realizing, hey, this is going to be a 75 pro Protoss very early on. If the Protoss takes those gases, especially, he needs to go very high. The problem is he lost his Overseer. If he doesn't confirm that the gases get taken, Max Bex could do a big timing attack. If he goes for like a, a 14 gate, he could warp in Zealots with a Prism in the back while attacking the front with Charge Arc on a Mortal. That being said, I imagine it's probably going to be Blink Stalkers to start, as that is the more stable approach. He's got Overlord Speed and a new Overseer, as well as a Hive. He's now building Roaches, and indeed it is Blink Stalkers coming to the front. So he's into full army production now. He's on four base, full workers with six gas. That's about 80 drones right now for Serral. He will need to take a fifth base in the near future, and that's because his main will start mining out in about a minute and a half. Oh, Still no gas. Is. Only... Sarah, Sarah reacted to that. He's saying, oh my gosh, there's still no gas. He's realizing, whoa, yeah, what is happening? How committed is this? Oh, you see how he preemptively pulled the Zerglings forward to take the stasis trap? That is fantastic. Serral is so good on these big maps because he's the best scouting Zerg. And you notice he wants to get that fifth base up. Like I said, it takes a minute to take a fifth just over that. He wants to be able to transfer drones from his main. So this getting delayed is going to slow down the efficiency of his workers over the next few minutes. But of course, he doesn't want to take a bad fight. He's got to be very cautious. He's trying to get those lings forward. And only three of them get frozen. Well done. I think it's double forge. Oh, and Max Pax is trying to take the gold base. So Max Pax is trying to play gateway man. He's trying to play mass stalker zealot, get the gold base up, and then very slowly transition into the higher tech. Not a bad play style. He's got Serral pinned on the defense. Oh man, Serral's in trouble right now. Because the stasis traps mean he can't really collapse. He does set off a stasis trap, but he gets a lot of the Zerglings. More links coming in from that side. Max Max Micro has been pretty good so far. The Stalkers still blinking back nicely, but he, okay, a few Stalkers actually went down. That was much better. He got like at least four or five Stalkers in that fight. He lost a lot of Zerglings. Desperately needs Ravages because Corrosive Bile and their extra range allow them to trade a little bit better against the Stalkers. And, oh, he accidentally grouped his army. He meant to set up a flank on the left side, but then he pulled it back together. He's still scouting with his Overseer in the middle of this, which is incredible, and spreading creep on the left side. I would be so busy trying to not die, and he's going to send more Lings to try and cancel that. So you notice that he split some Lings off. He does put them on control group four, so he steals them onto that. He's going to try and push this back now, spreading a few Biles back. Nicely done, but the Zealots are there. They're ready. Oh, he's making no Bane Lings. Interesting. No way. <laughs> Why is this so hard? Why is this so hard? Oh, the stasis traps. He just can't get on top of them. They keep getting blocked by the stalkers being in such a tight formation. He's going to try and take a gold base because he can't get that fifth up. The stalkers are doing so good right now. Serral is on Struggle Street. I think the Stasis Traps... Oh, no, there's one on the left. There's one on the left. Oh, gosh. I don't think he saw it until too late. Fifth base still not up on that gold base. Stuck on four base against a Protoss who's going to five. Not a great feeling as a Zerg. He doesn't have that Hive tech coming in. I think he has Adrenal Glands. I mean, he should have Adrenal Glands with how early his Hive is. I haven't really seen him continue his upgrades, though he must have done it. He does have his Evo Chambers control grouped. He does try to click on that stasis trap while it's morphing in. Manages to stop one of them. Finally, still multitasking at all times. Serral so good at multitasking. Oh, big zealot warping in the main. Zergling's going to try to get in there. If the queens can take that out, that will be nice. He tries to split the army there. Queens will take out the prism. Nicely done. Oh my gosh, he's got to abandon the fourth though. He's got. He's, he pulls back his frontal oh army, God, realizing, oh man, there's too many zealots. This game. Oh my god, I can't believe this game with that beautiful Finnish trill to his voice. I'm so amazed I, I lost this. <laughs> he's super mad that he lost this, so he's basically saying he's dead, and he's not happy about it, but so Ultra Upgrades... I'm so I lost this game. I thought I had this game like in my pocket already. I'm so mad I lost this game. I thought I already had this game in my pocket. Uh, I, or or messed this game. I don't think he's saying lost. I think he's saying messed. So I think he's saying maybe not dead. So much the last... Nail in but the it, coffin, obviously. It's definitely a messy position. He does say the last nail in the coffin. I don't think he's dead. He's definitely behind, though. Five base Protoss is good, but if there's no units that scale, if it's still just Stalker Zealot, he's got 2-2. Two, two. 
It's never over completely before it's, it's over. It's never over completely as he starts plus one range. He's got two, two Adrenal Zergling. So his upgrades are okay, but he's kind of trapped in his corner. If he can get those Banelings on that Mineral Line, that'll be good. But yeah. the Watchtower is guarded. I'm a bit stunned. I went like so many burgers as well. <laughs> I'm a bit stunned that he made so many workers as well. Yeah, I mean, the aggression that came out was so powerful combined. Normally, when you get away with that many workers for free, you're... Oh, oh no! So his ultras are blocked! He notices, he notices. Okay, he is killing his, his Roach Warren, I think he's killing. So, so he does, he's like, look, I don't need Roaches for the rest of this game. This will not be a repeat of him versus Rainer in the 2019 World Championship Grand uh, Semi-Finals. For those who don't remember, Sarah lost that game because he swapped Ultras after Mutalisks. He was way ahead and Rainer made an epic comeback. And we realized after the match that he had Ultralisks trapped inside his natural because of his Evo Roachhorn wall-off. The Ultras couldn't fit through. So they were stuck behind his wall-off for basically 10, 15 minutes of that game. Uh, and and it was a, a bit of a bit of a, a stressful situation as a Serral fan because he was meant to win that world championship in 2019, but Rainer got under his skin and caught him off. A style which Serral admitted he'd never played before. The Mutalisks, he said, he, he, the only times he'd played it, he'd always won with the Mutas, the Lings, and the Banes, so he didn't know what to do at Hive Tech, and he didn't realize that Vipers are what you're meant to build with Ultras, so he had no spellcasters and also got Ultras trapped behind the wall. But that's a different game. Let's talk about this one. Colossus in the open. Oh, the Stalkers abandoned the Colossus. Isn't that just the most Protoss thing ever, man? The Ultras, of course, are very good against Stalker Colossus. You need to get more Immortals in here. Max Max has six base, though. Surely he should have at least three Robos going. The problem is Max Max doesn't really build a lot of Robo production. He's more of an active gateway man. I think I think at I mean, this I point he'll to have... Way more control with the way have I three Robos. Yeah... He feels like he needed to get a lot more control in this game, and he's absolutely right. The Stalkers are keeping him pinned back. He's never got a big pack of Zerglings killing a base. He's not really getting big probe damage. Even the Baneling run by on the Southern Gold base didn't do that much. His Roaches suck. They're just not good supply right now. He needs Infestors in here. He needs something to take away the mobility and punish Max Max for being out here. And those Stasis Traps have been obnoxious. I'm so surprised I lost this, to be honest. I'm so surprised I lost this, to be honest. Multiple times, but I, the, I'm just like I, I, even, even he's commenting on him saying it. He's like, oh, I'm going to say it one more time. Even he's making fun of himself for repeatedly saying, I can't believe I lost this. I can't believe I lost this. Can't believe I messed this game up. I thought I had this. I can't believe I lost this. It really gives you an insight into Serral's internal monologue, doesn't it? Like, like, I, I really feel like my my internal monologue is a little bit more like Homer Simpson with the monkey with the symbols just going do 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 do, and it's just banging the symbols together, and there's some friggin' circus music, and Cyril is just like there constantly analyzing, hypercritical, going, "This is not good enough. What could I have done better?" Even before the game's over, he's already thinking about what he screwed up, what he could have done better. Oh, the immortal just Maybe focused like... that. Oh no, he didn't quite get the infester, but he gets quite a few Three stalkers. Not bad, not bad. Okay, creep spread sucks. He's trying to get his sixth base up. Protoss is already there. Oh, the infestors get taken out <laughs> by the oracles. So bad against Frost. You just lose them to the freaking infestors are so oracles. bad against Protoss. It does suck when they get caught. You, I think you want to use them like ambush units in this matchup. Problem is because there's observers, they get caught a lot easier. But they still can be very nice to mix in. Vipers are a bit more reliable in the long term. Oh man. His army is actually so garbage. I just don't get how his army doesn't improve in the game. <laughs> I don't. His army's actually so garbage. He's not wrong. I was thinking the same thing. Cyril's like, his army's so garbage. I don't know how his army hasn't improved. But this is what I was talking about, guys. Max Max is a gateway man. In PvT and PvZ, he stays on gateway for such a long time. And it works when he's playing people who are less than Cyril. Because he gets them with the Zealot multi prong and trades really well with the Stalkers. But. At a certain point, a guy like Serral is going to start defending all of your multi-prong zealots, trading quite efficiently, and you do need to be building triple robo immortal, archons, zealot run buys, and get rid of those stalkers from your army, because stalkers, what tier are, are stalkers, guys? S tier? A tier? B no, they're garbage tier. You have to add it. If you're doing a tier list for Starcraft units based on raw stats, not including pro players' insane micro, the Stalker's stats suck. So when you get to massive battles where Micro just isn't as big of a factor, Stalker's kind of suck. 
These runbys are annoying. They're good value, the zealots. But there's way too many stalkers in this army, which means max packs cannot stand and fight. Denying the gold base is a good move for Serral. Serral's doing really well here. Gold base gets taken down. Serral's gold base being gone as well does suck. But he's got a bit of bank going. And we know he has Greatest Spy attack. He gets cancelled instantly. And he has to rebuild it. Okay, so at this point, I think he's going to give up on the gold base and probably transfer these drones to the bottom right. As that seems to be... No, he's going to keep trying to take it. He's like, no, I will try to defend this. Oh, no, no, no. He gets caught. He gets caught. His Infestor's out in the open. But neuraling the Immortals. Oh, my God. He just neuraled two of the Immortals. Stalkers blink forward to try and take down the Infestor's. But oh my god, that army, it wasn't stutter stepping at all because he was too busy trying to focus fire the Infestors. Dude, and that is why Infestors are good against Protoss, ladies and gentlemen. He, he still loses this whole army, but I think that was a much more expensive Protoss army. A lot of his army was like Roach Zergling. Yes, some Ultras. I mean, he did lose six Infestors, actually. Oh, I don't know. Max Bex should still have more money even after losing that gold base. If Max Bex can get the top left or his gold base up soon, he's going to keep growing at a crazy rate. But Max Bex has slowed down. There's Burrowed Zerglings on those two expansions. Right now, Serral's in Struggle Street. Zergling's coming in. Archon, Zealot, Immortal Colossus there in the center of the map. That army's looking like it's a bit higher quality. The Zealots still don't add much. You really don't want any Zealots in your army at this stage of the game. And and that's, I think, the one thing where you can use them for runbys, for counterattacks. You don't want to be using those Zealots in the main army because they will just disappear to Ultra Bailing Splash. Queens are ready for the Prism. That Prism ain't going to get much done unless it can drop the Zealots and get a Warp on off. But it drops the Zealots, turns around, runs away. Infest is out in the open. Queen's Burrow. Nice move there. I think he unburrowed a little too early and one of the Queens did go down, but that's okay. Ultra guarding the Watchtower, trying to maintain control over this side. Ultra in the bottom right took some damage. Not sure what went on there. Maybe a Zealot running in. Oh, Immortals in the open! But Serral's not going to pounce. I think he realizes the army is nearby. And he is indeed going to send a lot of units. Oh, Neural! Neural is big. He grabs two of the Immortals. That is massive. Getting on top. Where's the rest of this army? That army looking very small for Max Max. I think Max Max has a crazy probe count. There's only a few Immortals in there. The two on the front do get taken down very quickly after Neural breaks. Max Max is holding strong, though. But Bailing's clear a mineral line on the left side of the map, which is kind of nice for him. Infest is getting cleaned up by those Oracles. Those Oracles being absolute D-bags right now. Serral able to remax, but just barely. His gold base is mining. But that bottom right of his is, is it's very exposed and he's in big trouble. Ultras, Lings, Infestors are out. They are remaxed. I, I've got to wonder where the Viper is. So normally against this army, as it goes on, when you're playing Ultras, in the long term, because Immortals counter Ultras so bad, great burrows for defending. Y you always go for, um, what do you call it? You always go for Vipers. If you can land Blinding Cloud along with Fungal, then it's it's massive. It's game-changing. But I like that he's I using his mobility. In this situation, but I'm a bit worried I'm going to lose because I don't make... Yeah, th so th th the, the problem Serral's talking about there is because the map's so big, Broodlords aren't mobile enough to cover both sides of the map. If he goes Broodlords, he can only fight on one side and he'll lose control of the other side of the map. But he normally is like, well, I have to go Broodlords in this scenario because he's getting up to like mass immortal arc on Storm. That army beats Ultralisks too hard. Uh, unless I land perfect spells, I can't really win. But he uses some good multi-prong on the left and an attack on the right. A defensive ultra moves up to try and defend the drop. Great multitasking. The, he's going to lose a few of these workers, but queens are... Oh, he's trying to use so much burrow micro. Oh, he takes out the prism. Nicely done. All right. Goes back to mining. Those zerglings are hidden there. He denies the gold base, keeps all of his bases up. That was a big win. That was several multitasking looking this fantastic. Nice. Problem is, he doesn't have those brood lords, and the army's going to push his gold. And I don't think he can defend this. Maybe, no, maybe with really good investor usage. Take rid of his army anymore. Yeah, good, good, good choice. Good choice to run away. Sarah realizes at this point, Max Back's army has been improving in quality. It's getting better and better. He can't rely on getting lucky neurals. It's, it's, it might work sometimes. It's not going to work super consistently. So pulling back, giving up the base, and waiting for a better angle rather than rushing into a half cocked engage—that is the right maneuver. Oh man, this. 
Stasis traps are so annoying. He really does not want to go Broodlords, but he feels he has to. The Zerglings are doing pretty well. They should have 3-3 three, three now. I think he's on 3-3-3 three, three, three here at 21 minutes, I would imagine. So, so garbage. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's going to try and mine that forward base at least. Now, on this map, you can mine their gold base a little bit, but it's so vulnerable. It's so risky. At this level, it's probably never worth it. At my level, I can I can steal oh some God, of their gold minerals. Lord, then. Okay, thank God. Oh. The Broodlord Den coming up, plus two air weapons on the way. They play with him being this poor for sure, but... He doesn't like being this Absolutely. poor, playing into Broodlord and Festa. Still no Vipers, interestingly. Oh, that's a big Zealot Archon army. And he's trying to split. You see the way he just split, but he didn't... Oh, he didn't He didn't move it up quickly enough. Okay. Zergling's going to try and run in. I like that he burrows a Zergling in the top. He doesn't want to roll his Banelings into the Archons. And there's Cannon, Cannon Zealot up defending real nice. Man, these Zealots keep denying his map control. This is what Max Pax is so good at, is stealing map control. What a legend. Because he forces Serral to multitask so much. And this is the thing, I feel like Serral is always in a highly stressed, this is not how I want the game to go moment against Max Pax. But can Max Pax deal with the Broodlords? We don't see Tempest, we don't see Carriers, we don't see any air transition. If there was a few Carriers, that would really complicate things for him, but oh my gosh. Uh, recall, classic. Recall, classic. That's the sound of a Zerg player who does not think Protoss deserves a get out of jail free card. Ridiculous. Uh oh, bottom side base in trouble. Bottom side base in trouble. Max Max is stuck on just five bases right now, which means Serral is just slowly getting more money than him. Max Max is kind of putting himself in a position where he kind of needs to win the game. I would have loved to see him retake the gold base. I thought he was winning when he was taking the gold base and making it hard for Serral, but oh, if Serral can get the Oracle, it'd be good. No. Okay. I like stealing an Oracle for Revelation. Oh, oh feedback. Oh, Rapid fire or not, they get popped, mate. This is, this is ladder. This is not on the patch. They just got annihilated by feedback. Sure, well played there by game? Max Pax. The feedback change only really helps when your units are stacked on top of each other, with like with Viper it's Overseer, right guys. Also, if feedback kills the unit, it doesn't really matter, but... One of them is that I have... If Infestors have over 180 energy, they will get one shot by feedback. On the top side, top side base is under trouble from the Zealots. Serral's not really paying attention. Okay, no, I think he's just kind of at his limit in terms of what he can pay attention to, and for him, he's prioritizing the main army. Hand, really. it's just, this is always so hard. He does not sound happy right now. Serral frustrated with the situation he's in. Broodlord Infester is a very underfunded force, especially now that there's Blink Stalkers in there. We've got to assume Max Max has three, three, three upgrades at this point. Unfortunately, there's just no anti. Yeah, he should have revelated the army. Revelate, revelate. Oh my god. Oh, the Broodlords. The Broodlords getting jumped on. Oh man, the Ultras. Okay, Ultras, 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 Ultras. If he blinks again, the Ultras are going for it. The Ultras are going to have to go for it, man. No, the Ultras are staying back. Serral being so patient, his Ultras are now getting aggroed into the army. There's too much. There's too much for Max Max. He can't fight this. Max Max is forced into his corner. Max Max puts him in the naughty corner. If Max Max could double expand right now, he is miles ahead, but he's not expanding. And that gives Serral a path back into this game. I actually think Max Max was doing oh, so good with I the denying bases. I might have just lost the game then. Uh, I just got sur uh, surrounded and I think I just lost the game there, says Serral. Once again, 17th time that he said he's lost this game. It's 25 minutes in the game and he is still surviving. Uh, massive push on the right side. He's going to lose all of his economy. He's going to lose all of his economy. He's not even running his drones. Oh no, that is bad, man. Okay, wait, wait, Max Pax didn't go after the drones, he just killed the hatchery. That gives Serral a chance to get back in it. Broodlords are so garbage. If he oh. actually would have kept expanding, I mean, I still think I'm going to win this game probably, but like, if he literally just would keep expanding, like, I don't know what he can do. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Serral's like, ah, oh, the Broodlords are so garbage. Oh, oh man. Oh, I'm actually probably still going to win this game. But that's just, if Max Pax kept expanding, then, you know, it'd be fine. This is hilarious. Serral so. goes from sounding so defeated to admitting that he's like, no, I'm probably going to win this game. But it's just because Max Pax isn't expanding. If he kept expanding, I'd be dead. That is hilarious. He's got so little mining right now, but he's right. I mean, Max Pax must be taking the gold base now. 
But even then, that's only one base. Max Max is going to have all of his workers stacked up. I actually think Serral was losing the multi-prong. What do you guys think? I feel like the cannon battery zealot was trading really well against a Zergling Baneling, even on that northern base. Uh oh, only one cannon now. Oh, this is the one point where he didn't have the, the defensive static up, but the army's nearby. Broodlord Infester, hanging out, trapping an Archon, trapping a second Archon, not bad. It is 14 Broodlords. It's a very good count. The Zealots are just non-stop. He keeps splitting Ultras off to deal with that. He, he pretty much always has like a defensive Ultra that's off lane, but this is crazy. The outcome of Revelation is that you get detection on and around the units that are revelated, and they are also revealed, the units that are hit specifically by the spell. So you see that white stuff on top gives vision around them. So that allows Max Max to track where Serral's army is. Serral's money is very low. If he loses this base again, he's in huge trouble. He does have the bottom right coming up. Stalkers do blink back. Archon's defending them. Oh my god! Oh my god! Massive Archon flank! He's going to lose the base, but he's going to kill so much Protoss with it. The Fungals are amazing. Yes, the Hatchery goes down. Oh, good feedbacks. Great feedbacks. He needs to focus those High Templar. Focus the High Templar on the bottom, mate. Okay, the Broodlords are going to get rid of some of those High Templar. He loses the base. He loses a lot of drones. He kills a lot of Archons and High Templar. Max Max still hasn't expanded? Wait, this is why Max Max army is so gas-heavy, guys. Because his minerals are running out, so he's just got the money to make like a billion Archons and High Templar. The Oracle oh finally goes God. down. Serral's so saying, annoying. oh my god, this is so annoying. I mean, he's basically dead in the water, but Max Max desperately needs to take that top left base. It's hard to do, but I think if Max Max splits his army, half on the south, half on the north... Wait, is Max Max long distance mining the gold? Wait, he doesn't even have the gold up! What's going on? Max Max forgot to expand. If Max Max could defend the gold and the top left at the same time, and he could use recall, especially if he uses Mothership, he gets two recalls. He could be like basically denying Serral's bases on both sides and getting out of trouble whenever Serral counterattacks him. Oh, he's just got to avoid the Broodlords. That's why expanding to both sides and doing more counterattacks is, is always going to win you for Max Max here because his ground army crushes Serral's ground army. And the Broodlords are so slow. Look at the size of this map. I'd love to see more Zealot runbys in the back because Serral's out of money. If you keep getting Zealot runbys and Prisms in, and you keep attacking both sides at once while expanding both sides, I don't think there's a counterplay here for Serral. Serral's frustrated. I mean, he, he, he kind of just has to run around playing cleanup here. Archons are dropping on top of the Broodlord Infester. What? Oh my god, he's coming in with a flank. It's an Archon flank from two sides. Really what? I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'm actually surprised I won that, to be honest from the 10 minute mark I had. But the fact that that game lasted those last seven minutes is so annoying. Oh my God. That map's just imp impossible to be honest. That map is just impossible to be honest. Sarah there dropping some knowledge on this no, game. I can't do anything there. I, he fell way the behind from the first stalker attack. <laughs> Need to go back with my pro lords. I mean, the Stalkers got way ahead, but the Protoss massively yeah, overinvested at this point. in Stalkers. They made way too many guess, Stalkers. Well, the only thing I have going is that his arm is really garbage, and that's kind of what I ended up winning with the game. Yeah. So I guess it's not that bad. The only thing I had going is wedding, that his army was garbage. Oh, I guess he has these too. Stalkers probably. garbage, Broodlord's garbage. These are the things we've learned from Serral today. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. It's cool to see Serral actually spend so long analyzing a game as well afterwards and look through the replay. You can tell he's kind of hunting for answers. Does he say anything else? I don't, know. I don't remember why I thought this situation was good for me. It actually looks so bad here. He's saying, I don't know why I thought the situation was good. It looks so bad for me. I think he's forgetting. He thought the situation was good at like seven minutes. This place here. And he thought it was terrible from then on. He got a few really good neural engagements. But, uh, yeah. He, he was saying it was good for him at six, seven minutes. And then once the stalkers were in his face, he basically was saying this he'd lost the game. So many zealots. 14 already. 15. It's going back to its... Let's see how many zealots. Oh, wow. It's just single zealots? Replay. That's hilarious. One more chunk for sure. And then he yeah. finally sends a big pack of zealots. The ultra killed 24 zealots?
well, most likely zealots. Maybe they were something else as well. No, they were all zealots, dude. 25. <laughs> it's very nice. 25 zealot kills. That's very nice. Understatement of the century. Serral, you absolute Chad gamer. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this cast. Shout out to the 25 kill ultralist guys. Turns out if, you're, if your opponents are obsessed with zealot run buys, we all learned something today. Put a dinosaur in the corner of the map defending the counterattacks, it will get value. And put it in the choke point between the minerals and the gas if they come with a lot of zealots, because it killed so many. Really well played. That was an awesome game there. And interesting to see how Zero plays from the back foot on Radu Set Station. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next Thanks one. For the Thanks for watching. Goodbye and good night. Thank <laughs> you.